I'm just the only way to travel. in 1900, the smallest bull ring in Spain. Sadly, rarely used anymore. Good. You know what they say, Mum? Better the bull dies in the ring than in the abattoir. Oh, yes, really? Did anyone ask the bull? Uh, it's a trial of strength between man and beast. Exactly. A contest to see who has the greater killer instinct. Man with his grace and poise, or the bull with all its raw power. University. Everyone else had bikes, but I was a Vespa girl. <laughs> I uh, suppose you know you're all standing in the swimming pool. Lester wants to buy the bull ring and build a hotel here. Not just any hotel, the best hotel on the Costa del Sol. I think it's a shame to destroy such a charming old place for yet another block of concrete. You can't stop progress, Charlie. But I can slow it down a little. That'll be uh, Blanca in Martina. Come on. Are you playing to be quiet? Hola, Rosemary. Are you playing tennis today? I mean, no. Last time I used my racket was ten years ago for draining spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Mind the papers. Paul Blanca has to do this every day, so us poor Brits could catch up with the soaps. <laughs> I left it by the pool. What's that? Bobby's bracelet has vanished. Oh, he'll probably turn up. Why is the bus called Martina? Because she's old, much travelled, very game, and still delivers a perfect service. Oh. <laughs> Killer instinct. You might have a 140 mile an hour serve, a backhand to die for, the footwork of Fred Astaire and the eyes of an eagle, but without it, you're nothing. Tennis is not a sport, it's a war. And rackets are guns that use balls for bullets. The winner is the player who eyeballs his opponent and blinks last. Ray! I'll be back in a minute. Practice your killer instincts. And how are we supposed to do that? When Eva lobs up a return to you, smash it back at her body. Then you'll be a killer too, Karen. And the presentation area is... Right here, uh, below this bank. Now, you can imagine, they'll be walking up here from the show court, and you'll be presenting them with their prizes here, just like the good old days in Wimbledon. Ah, except to raid the accepting rather than the presenting. Hey, cariño. Well, once or twice, darling. <laughs> It's hard to picture that with trees and flowers. Oh, will you leave that to us? By the time you hold the Pro-Am tournament, everything will be well established and in full bloom. We're so excited about it. Ray still has many friends in the game and they've all promised to come. Yours, Eva! the shot that hits my racket handle and goes backwards over my head. <laughs> <laughs> no damage done. You should ask Ray to cure you of it. He gave up on me ages ago. Ten years we've been coming here, he still hasn't managed it. Still, it's not all been bad. This is where John and I met. Come on, Eva, let's go, let's go, eh? <sighs> He's taking it all very seriously since Ray's pep talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's OK, lost. it's OK, it's gone now. Where's my injector? Oh, it's here. What well, do you think? I, I want to check it's there. There you are. Oh, oh thank God. All right now. Well, what's all that about? Charlie's scared of insects. Well, uh, scared of being stung by them. He gets... What's the word? Uh, into the name. Anaphylactic shock. Yeah, he always has to carry around that injector thingy. Yeah. Anyway, I just stuffed Joseph three love. Do you fancy a drink? Ooh! Oh, I feel a big drink coming on. Mm. No, 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 it was really good. Now you played some wonderful shots, Karen. No, you did. You guys all right for a drink? Fine, thanks, Charlie. Or later, perhaps, eh? <laughs> I should get you two together. He's very single. 
and very rich. Oh. Banker, huh? have you searched around the tennis courts yet? Not yet, Bobby. Well, we'll do it now. Come on. Bobby. Last year, she got this stomach bug that she blamed on the water. The year before, she cut her foot on this bit of glass by the pool and threatened to sue. <laughs> There's always something with Bobby. Hey, Vespa girl. Ha! <laughs> Scooter boy. How are you doing? Really good. Crossed rackets. Ooh. Very droll. Well, I thought it was rather appropriate. And, um, what are these feathery things? Orchestrum Romans of Yenum and Burkania Recovata. Bottle and Queen Palms to you. <laughs> Very glam. <laughs> you must come back when the tournament's on. Stars of the screen versus Ray's Stars of the Court. It's going to be fabulous. Wow. You check for Jim again. I'll search the court. All right, Bobby. OK, so tell me who's coming. Really? That is impressive. Apparently, lots of big stars have houses out here. Lester seems to know them all. Very exciting. <sighs> Buenas tardes, ladies. I must say, you're both looking very glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> We really must pick your brains. We're into our gardening. Yeah, we've got about an acre back home in Kent. Uh, it's mostly wildflowers. Same's weeding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wildflowers around here are just wonderful. There's one I'd really love to find. It's um, a beautiful pale blue, and it's got five tiny petals. La Piedra Martinezii? Yes. Ah, yes, well, that's very rare and very, very protected. No Karen? <laughs> no, she's got a migraine. She's a martyr to a head of hips. Oh, dear. Ah, welcome to El Loro Atul. Come in, come in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got his fingers in lots of pies as old Lester. Mm. Oh. Rosemary tells me Melanie DeMarco is coming to your tournament. Yes. That's right. Plus husband. Oh, the rock singer. Well, no doubt he'll get out of control again. Thump a photographer and wreck his hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least, between you and me, I'd be disappointed if he didn't. Bad behaviour, good publicity. Oh, of course. Oh, who's the gambler's house to? Oh, yes. Phones and garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hola. Hola. Mm. Hola. Ray, I got the latest costumes for the tournament. Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I rest for the wicked? <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating <balls>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, time for fist buzzers. Yay! Yes. Hey. Bobby, kick us up. One. Two. Fizz. Four. Buzz. Fizz. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Oh, 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 down. 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 Perhaps we should cancel. No. You'll manage somehow. But how? Eh? We've got to hire extra staff, pay the professionals, and for the work in the garden, we'll be lucky to break even. I don't care. And don't mention cancellation again. This tournament has got to happen. Got to. OK? It's dead easy. Any number divisible by three is fizz, by five, buzz. Sometimes it's both, 15, fizz, buzz. And the further you get, the more complicated it becomes. Right, who's for my cat? Yeah, I'm up for it. Mum? No, no. <laughs> Rosemary? No, no. Well, it won't be just Karen with a migraine. We're here to work, remember? Yeah. Matt? Oh, the castle, the drinking glasses! Come on, everybody, let's get into this pub and have a few. <laughs> We could use some gazania for the cross rackets. Oh, what a lovely morning. I'm betting there'll be one or two nursing sore heads today. <laughs> ah! oh, help! Help me, please! Oh, please, go quickly! Oh. Oh. Could you check his pulse? I wonder what 
caused that? No. No pulse. I'm afraid he's dead. <laughs> Broken neck. She assumes he got up in the night, wandered out into the balcony and fell. Oh, awful. Poor man. He was so lovely. Top bloke. Gone. I can't believe it. Did you um, mention that mark on his hand to the officer? She thinks he probably grazed it when he fell. Hmm. Looked more like a bite to me. No, no, I'm uh, done anyway. <clears throat> it's like a graveyard here today. Sorry, that came out wrong. Don't think anyone feels much like playing after what happened. I had such plans for this place. The centre of excellence, turning good young British players into Wimbledon champions. <laughs> now I'm reduced to holding tacky pro-am tournaments. Oh, Charlie. Why did you have to fall off your balcony, mate? He was more than just one of my most loyal players. He shared my vision, too. That's why I made him my partner. It wasn't just his money. He believed in what I was trying to do here. Charlie made a big investment some years ago, in return for which Ray gave him half shares in the club. We're all missing at 12. What's the time now? A uh, few minutes to 11. Can't find my watch. Anyway, Ray was close to going under. There was some property developer sniffing around. Well, you could understand. You could build a fair few houses around here. Exactly. But Charlie's money kept Ray going. Right. I can't put this off any longer. What? Karen's asked me to clear out Charlie's room. She seems to think that because I'm a policeman, I'm used to this sort of thing. Shall we do it for you? No, I couldn't let you. Oh, don't be silly. I mean, it's understandable that you should be upset. He was a good friend. We'll do it. Thanks. Oh, dear. Well, that's the lot from the bathroom. It was strange. His auto injector. I haven't seen it anywhere. There's the jacket that he wore last night. No. No. Oh. No. That's strange. Why would he put a bottle of water under his pillow? He's probably pretty dehydrated after all the booze he put away. Yes, but where's the lid? It's probably in the bin. Well, it's still a very funny place to put it. Oh, look at this. Mm, very distinctive. Well, shoe marks can be almost as distinctive as fingerprints. Could be Charlie's. Let's check. Um... No, not Charlie's. Then whose? Have you done anything about those missing things yet? Not yet, no. <laughs> Matthew's watch, my bracelet, and now Eva's hairbrush. She left it by the pool and it walked. Time to do something, Blanca. Things are being stolen. Bobby wants me to start making inquiries. <laughs> you being the resident copper. I've been coming here for 10 years with this bunch. I told her, when I'm here, I'm a member of the tennis club like she is. Here's one thing, though. There was no sign of Charlie's auto-injector. You said he went everywhere with it. It wasn't on him when he fell. Maybe he left it somewhere. People with Charlie's condition don't do that. Could be the difference between life and death. Suppose somebody took it. What for? Because that same somebody wanted whatever it was that made the mark on his hand. 
to kill him. Hmm. It was an accident, wasn't it? We're not so sure about that. You two. You're as bad as Bobby. I come here to get away from police work. You stick to the garden, and I'll stick to the tennis. OK? Charlie's death has come as a huge shock. But I really still can't quite believe it. Oh, Karen, if we hadn't played that silly game, he wouldn't have got so drunk and none of this would have... Yes, yes, now. Out of respect to Charlie, I think we should cut short our trip. Now, I've managed to get us on the evening flight. I'm sure Blanca will pop us all down to the airport in Martina. I'm so sorry we're late. Oh, please let me. No, no, it's fine. Well, as I was saying, bags packed and ready to depart by four at the latest, please. OK? She seems keen to get away. Another one of her headaches, perhaps? Hang on. Look, I'm not sure Charlie would have wanted this. And don't beat yourself up, Bobby. It's not your fault that he was crap at fizz buzz. <laughs> Charlie was always happiest when we were all having a good time. I think he'd want us to stay and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I think Matt's right. Yes. Maybe it would be a more fitting way of remembering him. We could play a knockout tournament in his honour. Uh, you could get a cup. Yeah, uh, the Charlie Gudger Memorial Cup. Yes, right, yeah. why not? Uh, Karen, what do you say? I mean, you knew him better than any of us. <laughs> That's what you all want. In that case, we stay. Yay! Oh, very good. <laughs> Let's give Charlie a proper send-off, then. Drinks on the house. Yeah, oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> How's the migraine? It's coming back. <laughs> Thank you. Karen doesn't seem too pleased about your stay. I expect she's thinking about all the rearrangements she'll have to rearrange. John said that she knew Charlie better than anyone. Yes. Karen was Charlie's fiance. But you said he was very single. He was. He broke it off. Great idea about the cup. Uh, Try and get something tasteful. What? You want me to get it? Thanks, Mum. No, no, that's not what I meant. As you. <sighs> well, whoever went into Charlie's room was at that meeting. And everyone was there except poor Charlie, so definitely wasn't his footprint. What are you thinking? Laura. Hmm? What are you thinking? I'm thinking, where the hell am I going to get a blooming trophy? Right. Right. Hey. Oh, my You can get the rest of the plants by the day after tomorrow. No palms, though, he says. Palmeiras Paco is the best place. I've been thinking. Hmm? Not about the trophy. No, about Charlie. Do you remember when Matt said that he'd broken off his engagement with Karen? I wonder if she'd been plotting her revenge all this time. Look. Yes, very pretty. No, 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 look. In the botanic gardens behind the bambocus. It's Eva. So it is. What is she doing? I don't know. Whatever it is, she doesn't want anyone seeing her doing it. There is. I'm sorry, but I can't do any more than I already have. I won't give up, Ray! What was all that about? Maybe she's asking him about her missing bracelet. <laughs> hmm. First round of the Charlie Gudger Memorial Tournament, eh? <laughs> 
you sit down and watch? Would you like a drink? Oh, yes, please. Orange, orange juice. Mm -hmm. yes, vale, muy bien. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea leaving all these lying around. Not with a thief about. Why don't we put them all together and we can keep an eye on them until they're finished? Rosemary? What? Is this what I think it is? Sea gudgeon? <gasps> Charlie's injector. What are you doing? Oh, we're just um, keeping an eye on the bags. Uh, which one's yours, Karen? The one you're holding. Oh, right. Well, um, here you are. Bad luck, James. Right, mate, you played well. Shit. Hiya, Mum. Found a cup yet? Uh, no, not as Well, such. no rush. Don't need it till Saturday. I'm good. I'm through the first round. Mind you, I've got Karen next, and uh, she's seriously good. Best player yeah. in the club. Matt, Matt. We found Charlie's auto injector. Where? Um, let's go somewhere a bit less public. But why would Karen take it? Revenge, that's why. Revenge? For what? Breaking off the engagement. That was ages ago. What? Revenge is a dish best served cold, they say. Cold, yeah, but not frozen bloody solid. We're talking about 15 years. Well, but there's nothing to say that she ever got over Charlie or forgave him. Did she ever get married? As it happens, no. But there you are. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Right, so she spends 15 years plotting, and the best she can come up with is hiding his adrenaline injector? That's a pretty awful thing to do to someone with Charlie's condition. Fatal in his case. All right, let's say she hid it. How could she guarantee that he'd be bitten? And by what? Mosquitoes and sandflies. I mean, they can all give you a nasty bite. <sighs> oh, right. So she secretly trained a flock of sandflies. We think that whatever it was that bit him was in this bottle. We found it underneath. Look, I've got to prepare myself for my game with Karen. If I'm not right in the zone, she'll murder me. Good luck. Have you seen my little trial? No. Nope. When did you see it last? Well, just before we cleared Charlie's room. Oh, it's not worth anything. It's an old friend. Dirty love. Come on, Karen, get stuck in. My granny could have returned Matt's last serve, and she's been dead 20 years. Thanks a bunch. Show us that killer instinct. Yeah, all right. Not trying to play badly on purpose, you know? How's my boy doing? Oh, he's winning easily. Karen's game's totally collapsed. Oh, I thought she was the best. Well, she is, normally. Something must be putting her off her game. Forty love. Match point, Karen. I know. <laughs> oh, damn. Game, set, and match to Mr Tung. So, how's the new area coming along? Oh, very well. We're just waiting for the rest of the plants to arrive. Yeah, we've put an order into the garden centre in Halloween. You know it. No, I don't think so. Yes, it's the, the one next to the Botanic Gardens. We saw you there. I've never been there. Oh, I, I, I thought it was you. No, it was someone else. John! Oh. It was her, wasn't it? Definitely. But now she's denying it. So what was it she was burying? Ray! Bobby has been giving him a hard time. Over the uh, pilfering? He has so much on his plate. You know, when we got married, some people said, young girl, old man, he must be rich. 
only they knew. Spent every last penny he has on this tournament. Well, that's risky. It is. We could lose the club and that would be a tragedy. Tennis gave him a good life. He wants to give something back to it. We're going to need some trees of about three meters and then something a bit bigger, uh, say um, five meters. Cinco meter one. Ah, very good. big. Full of me. Here. Okay, thank you. No, that's uh, too big. Now, what about this one? Oh, no, this one is, is the right size. Good color and shape. No obvious signs of nitrogen deficiency. Healthy-looking spades of decent length. This one will do very nicely. But, oh, look out. You've got a, a hitchhiker on your arm. Ow! Ow! Bloody little sod! Bit me! Oh, I thought he was rather pretty, actually. He had black and red stripes, like Dennis the Menace's jumper. <laughs> Just order the bloody tree. Senor, uh, quisieramos uh, esta de aquí, por favor. Right, let's go find some little ones. Watch out for spiders. <sighs> I don't know, just pick anything. Seen one palm tree, you've seen them all. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I mean, look, there are over 3,000 different species. Yeah, yeah, right, and they all seem to be here. Hey, Vespa girl. Hi. You uh, got a problem? We need some small palms for the new presentation area, and she can't decide which ones. Allow me. That one, that one, and uh, that one. Why those? Well, why not? They all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pest, aren't I? A nuisance. But I'm not giving up. Just leave me alone. When you give me the money. Poppy, listen, I can't give you what I haven't got. Ray, you left your sunglasses. Have you told her yet? <laughs> I thought not. Well, unless you want me to fill her in on all the gory details, I suggest you try a bit harder. Bye-bye, darling. Mama, is there a problem? You know, Bobby, always finding something to complain about. Glass half empty, that one. Blanca! Any sign of those English papers yet? Oh, sorry, John, I've been busy. Uh, you better go and get them now. Are you sure you're OK? I'm fine. Off you. So what's your interest in palm trees anyway? No, oh, none at all. I've got a meeting with the man who owns this place. Oh, here he is now. Mr. Palmtree himself, Paco Gomez. Hey, boss, I'll be right with you. Well, that's all paid for. And they can deliver the big tree tomorrow. So, we better get full steam ahead, get these babies bedded in before the pro-am takes place. Fingers crossed it does. Amen to that. If anyone can make it happen, Ray can. Yes, Karen? I was hoping to catch you before you did the paper run. Do you need something? Yes. Painkillers. Oh. Look, why did I get the papers? I wanted to look around the shops anyway. When... Go on. Driven old Martina loads of times. I'll be fine. OK. Bye. See you later. when she's supposed to be the best player in the group. Oh, hang on. There's Martina. And that's Karen driving her. I wonder where she's going. Calendula cream in my bag. 
Where's your bag? It's just behind your seat. Hang on, where's she gone? Where? Oh, my God! <gasps> oh, no! Oh. <sighs> oh. Is an illness. You don't have to have a reason. <sighs> Paloma says it looks. Oh, Paloma. Paloma says it looks like the brakes were tampered with. The brake fluid reservoir was empty, and the pipe had been cut. Karen was murdered. Yeah. Well, it was to be expected, I guess. And he's absolutely adamant. Right. Well, we'll have to think very carefully about the next step. John, it's me and you next for the Charlie Cup. Show sure must go on, eh? Not that one. It's mine. Sorry. Tranquilo. Si. Eso es. Tranquilo. Okay. Lento. Más lento. Si. Muy bien. Muy bien. Vale, vamos. Bajamos así. Bajamos, bajamos. Muy bien, señor. Eso es. Eso es. Poco a la izquierda. La izquierda. A la derecha. Si. Eso, correcto. Sí. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Fantástico. Gracias, señora. Right, I'll go and get the rest of the plants. Gracias. <laughs> Blanca? What's wrong? It should have been me. Not Karen. What? I was about to set off. They know I always go get the papers. But Karen talked me into letting her go instead. And now she's dead. It's not your fault. It's Mark. Ah, yes, it's a bite. That's really come up. I know what caused it. Yes, a spider yesterday. Yeah, it was rather pretty. It had uh, red and black stripes. It was an Andalucian araña rayado. What? <laughs> Don't tell me it's deadly and kills within 24 hours. No, not deadly, but very aggressive. They live in palm trees. You have to be very careful, eh? Mm. Especially if you're susceptible to anaphylactic shock. That is exactly the same as the mark that was on Charlie's hand. You feel all right? Never better.
You can come out now. She's gone. Why were you hiding from Bobby? You don't want to know. Oh, well, don't I? Maybe I'll just tell her where to find you. OK. Wimbledon. Seems like an age ago now. I was beginning to lose it on court, so I was trying to make up for it off. You were a right hellraiser. And there was no shortage of willing companions, like Bobby. Oh, Bobby. It was just a one-night thing that we paid the full price. She got pregnant, Tom. He's 25 now. She wants money for him. Well, after all, she was entitled. Oh, don't get me wrong. I supported him properly, paid my dues like a gent, until he was 18. So what does he want money for now? He thinks he can cut it as a pro tennis player. He's enrolled in some fancy academy in Florida and expects me to bankroll him. I'd love to, but I just can't. Does Blanca know about him? We've been trying for a kid of our own, but without any luck. I've been telling her it's my fault, but I don't think it is. I think it's her, and she'll be devastated. Well, if Bobby tells her first, she'll be even more devastated. God, what a bloody mess. And on top of everything else, the tournament's been cancelled. The tennis club is finished, and so am I. What will you do? Oh, there's a developer who's been desperate to get his hands on this place for years. The same man who already owns a big slice of the Costa del Sol, including that palm place, Paco Gomez. Did you say Paco? Well played, John. Mac, I'm here. Sorry, I couldn't give you a better game. Mac, come quickly. We need you. Come on. So the killer was really after Blanca. They fixed the brakes on Martina and planted the bottle in Charlie's bed, containing an Andalusian Arena Riado. Now, they're very aggressive, and I should know. So it must have bitten Charlie, who had an allergic reaction. He couldn't find a resort to inject, and then in a blind panic, must have fallen over the balcony. But Karen stole the auto injector. It was in a bag. No, the killer put it there when he realised we were looking for it. Highly incriminating, and he had to get rid of it. That's right. He was trying to put us off the scent. Yes, and it might have worked, except that he killed Karen by mistake. Come on, he'll be here soon. What's this all about, Ray? I thought we should talk. Well, and about time. Don't know why you chose this place, though. Seemed appropriate. The arena of death. It's in the sand, in the air. Take a deep breath. You can smell the blood. <laughs> Probably just you. Yeah, being an old war horse. We had gladiators on grass, eh? That sport as mortal combat. I was famous for my killer instinct. The Grand Masters 1972 semi finals. My opponent lobbed me, then turned his ankle and went down. You know what I did? I smashed the return straight at him. What's your point, Ray? Nothing gets in the way of what I want. Nothing gets between me and the things I love best tennis, the club, Blanca. Vesper girl. What's going on? Guys? How much is Paco paying you for delivering my tennis club? For fixing all those accidents and trying to wreck the tournament? It didn't matter to you that Ray was an old friend. As long as he sold the land to Paco and you were prepared to stop at nothing to make sure that he did. So, you killed Charlie. You stole his auto-injector and then when you heard us talking about it... You planted it on Karen. But Ray still wouldn't give in. So you planned to kill Blanca, knowing that Ray would fall to pieces without her. But you killed Karen instead. You haven't got anything on me? No. But you have got something on yourself. Shoe marks can be as distinctive as fingerprints. So bloody clever, aren't you? 
Where to go? I said back off. Don't make it worse. Come on, come on, give me the gun. You keep away from me. Matthew, be careful! He's not gonna shoot me. Why not? I've already killed twice. No, don't! Sorry, scooter boy. Well done, Paloma. You really know how to ride that thing, don't you? It's the only way to travel. <laughs> Square in the final game of the Charlie Gudgeon Memorial Trophy. Deuce. Out. Advantage, Adam. Oh, no, please don't. It's a very special racket. Deuce. A Piedra Martinezii. So you went. Burying anything in the garden at all. You were digging these up. Advantage, Matthew. You know there's a protection order on them. I'm sorry. We're just sorry there's not going to be a Pro-Am tournament now. Is it going to be really hard to keep the club open? Don't worry, I'll think of something else. The main thing is, we'll keep going, eh? All three of us. Tom, my son. We've invited him to come and live here. Why pay for a tennis academy when you can have the best teacher in the world for free, eh? <laughs> well, come on. When am I going to get my cup? Oh, right. Uh, here goes. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Charlie Garton Memorial Trophy is... Matthew Tyne. <laughs> oh. After everything you said about bullfighting... No. I looked everywhere for a cup. I couldn't find anything. I was on the horns of a dilemma. <laughs>